Hi friends, Mindy here. I am working today in uh, my Walk This Way devotional from By the Will for God. I'm going to be working on day three and I thought I would um, take you along for how I work through this process. Uh, I'm going to do this in two separate videos. The first one is how I do the actual Bible study part of it and then the other will be how I do the art in my Bible or my, well in this case it'll be a journal. but. Uh, I wanted to just talk about how I go through this process. So when I first get um, the devotional, I I go through and I read through the entire devotional and then I go back through and I have these uh, flashcards and the journaling cards from the kit. I go through and I put those in my journal just so that I don't forget, uh, put them in the devotional. That way when I'm doing my artwork, I, I remember that I have them otherwise I forget or I, or I miss some or I wish I would have used it anyway. So um, I go through and I read the entire devotional and I mark every, um, every Bible reference that's in it. I underline things that stick out to me that first time. I might even make some notes. Um, and I, I do that when in one or one or two sittings, I just kind of read through the entire devotional. And then when I go back, I um, I go through it again. I'm showing here um, an encyclopedia of Bible people, just because I have this reference, and I'm because we're focusing on people and mentorship and things in this devotional. Um, I just this was a has been a fun reference to use, and it talks about the name significance and um, the meaning of the name and where it's found in Scripture and who that person was, and so that's just been a fun reference to kind of use as I'm going through here but anyway I just wanted to kind of show um, I'm on day three here and I'm pulling out the flashcard that I'm going to be using but you can see I have two different colors of inks and that's from the two different times that I have gone through so the second time when I'm coming to actually do the artwork I will read through this devotional again this day is devotional not the entire thing and I make note of the references I read the um, every one of the scriptures, even the ones that are, are written out in the devotional, I read them. I read them in context with the verses around them. I read them in a, in a uh, translation. I personally use King James Version. And so even now, as I was kind of going through this and trying to record it, another, I, another thought came to me. So that's what I'm just writing down here, which was um, another scripture that kind of came to me in the um, in Isaiah I had to go back after and look it back up but um, so I just kind of go through and I mark all those things and I make notes and you can see this page is just filled with sloppy handwriting and just notes everywhere um, and that's just kind of my approach to it and I I will go through and I look up all of the different scriptures this particular one is um, talk, the title is fresh air and cool water it's talking about refreshing and um, I love some of the imagery in it. It's talking about one of the things in the devotional talks about the King James dictionary definition of um, refreshing is to revive what is drooping as rain refreshes the plants. And it made me actually think of my mother-in-law. Um, I am not a plant person, but my mother-in-law is. And we came into church one night and here in Georgia, it's really hot. And this was a year or so ago, but we came into church. It was really hot in the plants. In the foyer were just I mean they were drooping they were just hanging over the edge literally some of the leaves were down you know scraping the ground and she went and she got some water and she watered them and um, by the end of church service that night they were perked up a little bit and by Sunday when we came in you wouldn't have known that anything had happened to them and so it was just a really like visual reminder just reading that like as about drooping plants and so I'm, I'm saying that because some of those imagery things that are the things that come to me when I'm working and they kind of um, help dictate some of the choices that I make when I actually go to do some of my artwork, which not everything is very symbolic, but sometimes it is. And so I'm just going through here and, and making some notes and about things that maybe I want to include. I have another little um, little notes that I'm making things that I may want to include when I do the artwork, points that I want to remember, just different things. I'm just really trying to get as much out of these devotionals as I can, making sure, like I said, to read everything in context. 
I want to include, like this quote really stuck out with me. Um, so I'll probably include part of that in the artwork. And then, and I'm just kind of getting an idea for the things that I want. And then as I was sitting here going through this again, some other word, like the word relief and healing and um, like just being revived. Because I know I'm not the only one who this last year and a half has, has been a hard time for people, I think. And so, you know, being a refreshing is something that we're just all in need of and being able to be that for each other, like this devotional is talking about is just something that's really important. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share kind of the heart behind what I do with my artwork and then I'll post the artwork um, process later, but I just wanted to kind of share how I work through this in case, um, that can give you some ideas. I've seen people ask questions in Facebook groups and I've had people message me and different things. And so this is just my approach. Like it, again, it's not the only approach. It's not necessarily the right approach. It's just how I do it. So I thought I would share that today. I hope that's helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye-bye.